What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick. We're about to go on the maiden voyage for the Autopilot 120. If you guys haven't seen my last video on the unboxing of this kayak, I think this kayak is going to be the number one kayak of 2021. So the goal today is to catch my first fish on the Autopilot 120, take it out, get a good feel for using a motor. So this is the first time ever I've been in charge of a boat with the motor on it. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really excited to take my kayaking to the next level. That brings me to a point that this kayak is really good for boaters that are watching kayak videos, maybe interested in getting into kayaking. Uh, this kayak, the Autopilot 120, is a great transition for boaters who want to get into kayaking. This kayak is also very similar dimensions to the Hobie Outback so the weight capacity is really good on this so if you're a bigger fella you're worried about going kayaking because you're too big check out this kayak this might be the solution for you so let's get out there troll a little bit i'm going to be bottom bouncing with anchovies the tide is going out which isn't ideal but let's give it a shot also guys i don't have my camera mounts set up yet so sorry for the poor camera view Oh, she floats. That's good. She floats. So she floats. That's good. So first things first. So I have to put up this rudder or put down the rudder. Nice. Now that the rudder's down, I'm going to do all the controlling with my feet. I can also control it with the remote, but let's adjust this. This rudder works good. Alright guys, so the next step after I've adjusted the pedals, put down my rudder. Next, I need to put down my motor which is basically this handle right here. You pull it and your motor goes down. Did you hear that beep? That means my battery is working. That's, that's good. So I cleated it. Battery meter shows full. So basically guys, this is the remote and you go up and it changes the speed to whatever to one and a half, two, two and a half, three. I'm going to start at one. And to engage it, you push this middle button. Oh, I feel movement. Oh, shoot. Here I go. Steering with my feet. And we're off. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Guys, this is so cool. Revolutionary. So with the Autopilot 120, you can either steer with your feet, which is really convenient because then you have hands-on fishing. Right now, I'm filming in one hand and have the controller in the other. And we're turning. This will allow me to film a lot better for you guys, as well as spend more time fishing. I can set up fishing rigs while I'm going out to my fishing spot. I control longer for things like salmon. I'm excited. Let's kick up the speed a little bit. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh god. Oh jeez. I'm not ready for this. Oh god. Whoa! Any luck? How deep? Around here? Yeah. At least it's sunny. Alright guys, so what are my thoughts on the Autopilot 120? It is more than I can ask for. This electric motor is so powerful. Extremely quiet. Right now I'm going about 3 miles per hour. Just no problem, no noise. I've been out here for maybe an hour. No sign of the battery going down. You could also check the battery on the remote. It's hard to see, but it says full. It says we're going three miles per hour. Anytime you want to stop the boat, you just disengage the motor and you stop. And then to start up again, engage the motor and it brings you back to the same speed. You can also plot a direction. So you go north or south, west, east. You could do cruise control so you maintain the same speed no matter the wind or current or if you change directions. But what I'm really interested in is the GPS spot lock and I think that's going to change the game for fishing. It's going to allow you to use more techniques, target more fish more efficiently and just in general use it as an anchor where normally you can't anchor. My observation of the hole is I really like it. It has extremely large edges that surround the whole boat. So that makes the deck extremely usable. You can put all sorts of things on here. Like I put my bait right there, knife, GoPro stuff, um, pliers. This Old Town kayak is really good about that. The decking is really nice. It wicks away water really easily. The material is nice, super grippy. And there's plenty of scupper holes everywhere. And as far as the steering goes, it's super intuitive. Like I was kind of confused in the beginning, but after five or 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's like you don't even think about steering anymore, which is really cool. When you steer with your feet like this, it's kind of like driving, using the gas and the brake. You don't really think about it anymore. You just kind of do it. So that allows you to focus on fishing. Yeah guys, so overall I really enjoy this boat. A lot of its features 
a lot of its features I would use and I really like how much usable storage there is on this boat. I maybe thought that the 12 feet would be too short for the ocean, but that's definitely not the case. They've designed the hole so well that they use every little bit of that 12 feet. They have a lot of storage up front, by your feet, underneath the chair. But, but the biggest storage is in the back and it's all very usable.